Welcome to 10 Reasons to Believe God. Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 2 and 3. O Lord, how long shall I cry? And thou wilt not hear, even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why does thou show me iniquity and cause me to be whole grievance for spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. This is a question from Habakkuk. So ten reasons why people ask questions and they don't really want the answer from God. Number one, they have no time for Bible reading. Number two, they have no time for researching the Bible. Number three, they don't want to remember what God has done for them. So they let philosophy creep into their subconscious. Number four, they celebrate, they don't celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but doubt it with questions. Number five, they are reciting cultic movement and question the validity of the Bible. I'm talking about 10 reasons why people ask question and don't really want answer from God. The answer is in the book. Hey, glory to God. Number six, they want no remorse when asking question. They don't have no remorse asking question rather than praying and reading the word of God. Number seven, they need to repent like Abraham that question God about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah because of their sins. <laughs> Number eight, they need to be like Job, put his hand over his, his mouth. Hey, glory to God. Like Job, question about God creation and God asks Job, were you there? Hmm. Number nine, God is available to answer all questions. But will we be available to answer the question that God has given us to answer? Number ten, questions are good. But don't be like sinners and pagan, just trying God patient in debating over things that are written already from his Bible. Be glory to God.